If you're looking for a really flexible server platform, but you're worried about getting bogged down into a contract, then the Cloud and Next server platform may be the platform for you. Hi, my name's Tom, and in this video, I'm going to take you through on a whistle-stop tour of the Cloud and Next platform, give you an idea of what features are available, and just give you a chance to see if this is the right platform for you. So first things first, what is the Cloud and Next platform? Typically, when you purchase a dedicated or virtual server, you're given a specific set of specifications and you are locked into a contract, whether that be for a year or longer. These traditional servers do often have higher specs and some platforms, like our VPS platform, do allow you to upgrade your server. But CloudNex offers a different approach. Upgradable virtual servers, no contracts, and on top of it all, flexible billing. You're only charged for the time that the server is on with all of the previous month's usage being charged on the second of each month. If you turn your server off, you're only charged for the hard drive space that you're using. And if you delete your server, then you won't be charged any further for that server at all. No hooks, no strings attached. Along with this, you also get a massive feature set that makes managing your services an absolute breeze. The CloudNext control panel is purpose-built to make managing your services quick and easy. So let's take a quick look. To start with, you'll need services, and whether it's building a virtual CloudNext server or a bare metal server, both are as easy as simply clicking the Create button and selecting the service that you need. There are plenty of options offered when it comes to operating systems and additional software, including Plesk, and also, if you have your own image that you'd like to upload to the platform, that's quick and easy to do as well. In terms of specifications for your servers, when it comes to virtual, you can select from one of our curated presets, or you can select the flex option and build the server that exactly fits your needs. Whilst with the bare metal dedicated servers, you are limited to presets. If you find that the one you're on is not the right one for you, it's very quick and very easy just to spin up a brand new server and move your services across. Once you've created the server, you'll be able to see how long it's going to take to build by checking the monitoring area. And this same area can be used after the server's built to check what status it's in, whether it's on or off. When you run an upgrade, you'll be able to see how long it's going to take to apply. This area gives you a very quick rundown of what exactly is happening with your servers. As I mentioned earlier, you're only charged for the time that the server is up and running. And turning it off is as simple as going into the action center and clicking the off button. You can also easily start, restart, and if you no longer need the server, delete them from the same action center menu as well. All as easy as a click of a button. If you're having issues getting into your server and you need to troubleshoot, there is also an option to access the KVM console to be able to see the server in its live state. That being said, if you need to troubleshoot your services, our support team are only a call or email away. They're available 24 seven to assist you with your services. If you've got a virtual server, you can very easily customize that server here again via the action center and clicking the customize button. And here you can add CPU cores, RAM and storage as required. If you want to make an exact copy of a server that you've already built, that includes the software you've installed in its current state, you can easily do that by hitting the clone button. And this will simply create a brand new copy of the same server. Finally, if you want to make a big change to your server, but you're a little bit worried about what the impact will be, you can also use the snapshot facility here just to make a point to restore from. This will take a snapshot of your server in its current state. And when you click the restore button, will bring everything back to that same state again. The Cloud Next panel also comes with its own firewall so that you can be sure that your services are secure. Managing this along with the overall networking of your server as well, again, can all be done within the Cloud Next control panel. Here, you can create and manage firewall policies that you can apply to multiple servers. You can create load balancers for your existing servers, add additional IP addresses, as well as create private and public networks and even create a VPN. So this has been a very quick look into the CloudNext platform and the CloudNext control panel, just to give you an idea of what features are available, how easy it is to use and get started, and also how easy it is to manage your services overall via the panel. If you're interested and you'd like to find out more, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We'd love to discuss this further with you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.